Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew Midnight in Salem. We are still at Hawthorne House right now because I have no idea what the fuck to do. Um, I'm going to assume that we still have to investigate it because the check mark has not gone away. And gala gather more alibis for the arson. I'm pretty sure it's because we haven't got May's alibi yet. Is that young Tegan? Olivia and Lauren too. Mm -hmm. So they were friends once. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Is this again? Alright, oh, her business card. We found this coat, but I don't know if there's anything to look at. Like there's nothing in any of the pockets or anything like that. I see like there's mud on this one sleeve, which looks suspicious, but it's not letting me do anything with it. Because why there be mud on the one sleeve and not the other? It seems strange to me. I don't know. And randomly a pumpkin. Can we do anything in this house? Or get around like the back corner? A wooden decoration. Portraying snapdragons. Hmm. Oh, there's a candle there. I've seen it. Let me look at the candle. Huh. 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 Ha, oh, indeed. So many candles. I wonder if there's like something that's out of my regular like screen of view or something like that that I gotta look at in here. It's like there's gotta be something. What's this? A broom? No. There's another mirror there. Okay. An old secretary desk. Roaring 20s, maybe. Uh huh. Oh, Jesus. Like, is there anything I can look at from above or behind or something here? An old yeah, okay, just go look at it. I see a W on it. But I, I'm not seeing... Oh. What the fuck? Sure. What does this say? My dear Lauren... He came to me midwinter and made each day feel brightest. Like a lion, I cared for my new cub, even though sometimes she could be stubborn like an ox. Uh, in the month where spring stirs, I revealed your heritage to you. And on the day of Samhain, we remembered our ancestors. Now I wish for you to choose. Make this house your home or be free of this burden forever yours, Francis Tuttle. Back side of the letter, the will is in the house. Okay, well that's okay. A that, letter that's a fine. Francis Tuttle's own hand. That's a find right there. Okay. An old secretary desk. Roaring twenties, maybe. I'm assuming oh, okay, then I guess that is the only thing we have to investigate. Okay, well that was quick, I guess. I thought there was something to do with this mirror, but maybe it's later on. This mirror still looks really fucking weird to me. Like, it doesn't look like a mirror, it just looks like a painting. All the proportions are really fucking weird. I can't even, like... Like, do anything with it. I wonder if it's, like, you need to move it somewhere else in the house or something? I don't know. I'm gonna assume we're done in here, though, if that list was checked off. Francis Tuttle needed this medical machine to... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna assume we're done with, with half our house for now. We just gotta go and find uh, Lauren and show her... Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Was that meant to be a jump scare? <laughs> that leaf just flew right in my damn face. That actually got me worse than any of the other jump scares so far, was that leaf flying in my face hole. I thought it was like a bat coming from my eyeballs. Huh weird. I wonder if that was actually supposed to be like that or if it was just a really perfectly timed moment in the game. Okay. Let's go talk to Lauren about this bullshit. In her apothecary of weird concoctions. Oh god. This dude's just walking by himself. What's he got? Oh, I want to read your sign, dude. 
You're not a very good protester. I don't even know what you're protesting. Oops, excuse me. Can I listen in to what these people are saying, or is it the same thing? I heard thing there's a new here? exhibition coming up at the museum. Yeah, it's the same thing. And it's equally as useless. Yo, Lauren. I just have a couple more things I wanted to we ask. We got things to discuss. Oh. See you later. What? I can't tell her about the will? Why? It seems like information she would want to know. Ugh. Okay, the only thing I'm supposed to gather is alibis. I don't know who I still have to talk to, though. Damien Faulkner? Who's this? Hello? Is this Damien Faulkner? Who yeah. are you? Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm a private investigator. I totally forget who this is. Case, on behalf of Judge Danforth. Do you mind if I take up a minute of your time? Um, go ahead. Just Who are you? To follow up on some statements. Statements made by who? Tegan Perry. Yes? Your girlfriend. Right, right. Where were you? Sorry, but were these statements given to the police? What is going on? No, they were given to me, willingly. Yeah, sorry. I, I work for Alicia, and I've learned to make sure... Oh, this is the intern or whatever. I don't want to sound like I'm guilty or complicit. I just know my rights. Of course. But you sound trustworthy. Oh, thanks. How long have you worked for Alicia? I've interned for her for a while, but she doesn't really pay attention. Yeah, I don't even know who you are or where you are. I listen to her on the phone. A lot. Anyway, I was with Tegan on the night of the fire. That's what you wanted to know, right? Yeah. And what did you guys do? Watch the movie. Okay. Which movie? Which movie? Was it porn? I couldn't tell you. Tegan Dick. Oh, go. You know, this is important, god damn it. Vampire drama, apocalyptic, teenage angsty thing. Oh, that sounds awful. I never I'm into hard sci fi. Damn right you are. Good to know. Anything else, or. <laughs> why, why is that good to know, Nancy? Yep. Did you plan to swoop in there and steal him with your love of hard sci fi? Okay. Uh, Deirdre, what the hell have you learned today? That's an, a really unflattering Deirdre? picture. You didn't, though. Nancy Zero. You didn't, oh, though. You're so gullible. It's not funny. Come on. Yes, it is. You know what? I like it. Because now Fair. I know how much you care. Of course I care, Deirdre. Oh, God. I don't need this right now. Well, anyway. Just tell me. I have some information for you. Thank you. That's all I want to know. What do you know about her? She's the former owner of Hathorn House. What? That's it? Well, I thought you were going to research. It all goes back to I really wish these protesters would shut the hell up so I could hear this. She took over the Hathorne House estate in 1992. Although I found three different marriage announcements in the Salem News, she was never married and never had any biological children. The only living heir now is Lauren Holt. Mm. She met Francis Tuttle and was officially adopted in 2006. Mm -hmm. The judge said there was a will. Lauren confirmed that. Exactly. But as far as I can tell, there is no will. Nothing Except for the paper we just counselor. found. The lawyer had stepped forward with a copy. Frances was in her late 80s when she passed, and she had a stroke a few years earlier. Maybe she was confused. Mm. Are you saying you think that Lauren burned down her own house? Sounds bizarre, I know. But it's the most likely scenario. Why? What would she because gain from that? A historic property is classified differently if it's a ruin versus being an intact structure. Without a will, a ruined property is preserved as is. So Lauren could stay there. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think living in a charred out building is great for your health, but it's a theory. Okay, see if you can find out anything else. I'll meet you back at the Perry house later. I see. Okay. Okay, who else? I guess we should call the Hardys and figure out what the fuck they've been up to all day. Nancy. Hey, how's it going? Find anything? What'd you find out? Oh. Aside from the weird looks from the woman who lives here, Lauren Holt, I think her name was, 
To be fair, it looks like we're drilling for oil with all this equipment. She's not oh, there, Frank. Grab that EMP meter, Frank, quickly! What, uh, you mean this? It says EMF. Yeah, that one! This one? I was this just one? out there. Where the hell were you guys this entire time? Yes! You guys are the I fucking ghosts. I knew it. Here like ESP or PSN or NAS or PMS. Come on, Frank, hurry! God, it's gone! We're going to have to be quicker to catch these paranormal phenomena. Uh -huh. This is so oh, weird. Nancy, forgot to tell you. On the way into town, I spotted surveillance cameras on the outside of the courthouse. Try checking the footage. I'm sure they have cameras on the inside as well. Been there, done oh, that. Catch. We'll let you know if we catch any phenomena. So you guys have done absolutely nothing all day. Wonderful. Talk Thanks for doing nothing. You fucking pricks. Let's call Ned Nickerman. <laughs> as Mike calls him. Hello. Voicemail inbox of Ned Nickerson. Oh fuck! Shut down. Come to the phone in a timely fashion. Pick up your phone, Ned. Fuck. Ned's Ned's shutting us down real hard. Is that Ned? Oh. Tegan, I was able to rule out some. You need to come here quickly. Something's happened. I'll be right there. Where the museum or the house? You never mentioned where we were supposed to go. I'm assuming the house? What? Oh, Jesus. What happened? How did it come to this? Sorry, Ned. Come okay. on, let's get inside. You could have just answered or texted him and said, let's call back. I, I don't, okay. Can I make some Johnny cakes? <laughs> Just this really depressed music. Time for some pancakes. Why not? Let's see. No, I don't. How do I back out of this? I don't. I don't want to do this. Let's begin. Let's not. How about we don't? Who deserves it? Let's. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Just the most depressing music ever. Time to flip pancakes. Hey, where the hell did May go? So she moved. Holy shit. Everything. You know, it's just been really hard. It's okay. I understand. What's when happening? I started working at the museum, I was curious about our town's history. Because I think history is the most important thing. Santayana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Yeah. Right? Of course. Well, I found out something about my family. We changed our name. Mm. It used to be Paris. Okay. Samuel Paris and his daughter Betty were the first accusers of witches. They were directly responsible for the execution of numerous people. Mm. And they are part of my family. Oh. But you're the... The head of the AW organization. Ooh, that's My rough. family helped murder their ancestors. That's rough. Which is why I've never told anybody, and now everyone knows. Why do you think anyone would do this? I don't know. Maybe it's someone else who wants the Hathorn House. No one in AW is going to trust me after this. And the evidence is gone. All of this for nothing. It's going to be okay, Tegan. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's have a con- oh, there's a message on here, I think. No? What? Okay. Why is there an orange ball by it? Okay. Can I not talk to her at all? She's just gonna sit- Jeez, I can't walk hey two guys, steps. can you give me an update? Oh my god, are we gonna take control of these chuckle fox now? Hey guys. Can you give me an update? Nancy, I like how she doesn't have a face. I miss talking to you. I need some rationality in my life. Complaining about rationality is inherently irrational. Right. What's going on? Everything okay? Not really. I'm at the Perry house. Someone vandalized it with graffiti. Sure. Really? Turns out the Perrys are descendants of the Paris family. A family who was responsible for sending some of the accused witches to their death. I mean, you could probably uh, piece that together that pretty group? quickly. Accused witches? Exactly. Explains why she's so dedicated to the cause. She knew and was trying to make things right, I guess. So, 
someone is trying to embarrass the parents. Means our suspect is still in town. Looks mm. like. You found anything? Nope. Nothing here. It's been dead quiet. It's a joke. We're, uh, in a cemetery. Sorry, if you have to explain it, it's not a joke. I get it. Listen, things are a little tense here. What the hell is well, behind Joe's head? Is that a light on or a loud post? If you find anything, please. No problem, partner. Oh my god. Western joke. I mean, these, we haven't really discussed these two are still the, the best part of the game. Partnership thing yet, so. Frank, not a good time. Right. Talk soon. Damn it! If you're done being awkward, I could use your help. <laughs> what? I like that. I'm not awkward. Whatever you say, partner. <laughs> Let's finish our search. Ah, like get these out guys. Here, okay? Sure, 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 but don't rush. What are we searching for? The existence of ghosts. Oh, okay. That Thanks, requires Joe. steady patience. Thanks for informing me and of this. steady equipment. Speaking of which, how are we doing on that front? All set. I'll use the antenna to search for suspicious cold spots while you move around with the ghost wavelength spectral analyzer 2.5 and look for okay. disturbances from the other side. Where'd you come up the with this? Spectral analyzer. Anyway, are you sure it actually works? Of course. I built it myself. How? The device has a top-of-the-line scanner that can detect any disturbances. It might not have found anything yet, but I have to stay optimistic about these things. And I guess this ghost hunting notebook is homemade too? Thoroughly researched. Mm. But yes, it is. You are now playing as Frank the Man Hardy. Hunt for ghosts. Does he have any... I can't even look at his... What? I can't even do anything. Okay, I guess. I guess they didn't reach that part of the game yet. They forgot to... They forgot to put in options for Frank's phone. Nothing yet. Damn it, Joe. Oh, there's some activities. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's like that mini game in the Arkham Asylum series. Come on, you prick. Oh, that's so close. How is that not there? How does that not work? I don't understand. Okay, I'm like right there. How is that not working? How precise do you gotta be with this fucking thing? Jesus. This is much worse than anything in Arkham Asylum. Found a new cold spot. You should move over there. What? Did that not count? What? What is happening? Okay, this needs to be turned way the fuck down.
scanner, but it shows no real signs here. Oh, okay. Any other signals? Let me check. There's like one by the fucking tree. Or at least there seem to be. Am I over by Joe? God damn it. Jesus, this is fucking holy shit. How is that not close enough? How is that not close enough? Are you serious? It's like right on it. I don't... I don't understand how this thing works. There we go. Are we good? Did we find some... Here. What? Hey, what's this? A speaker? What is, it? what is it? Is it a ghost? Oh, no. Well, it seems like some sort of machine. But what's a device like this doing in a graveyard? Something's up. You gonna investigate oh, that's that? That's a motion detector. How weird is that? All right, put your equipment down. Your plan didn't work. Now we're tracking this so-called ghost my way. Let's see what else we can find. But I just finished setting everything up. Where? Fine, fine. My eyes are peeled. What are we doing? Okay, are we gonna investigate this shit or what? How creepy! Putting a motion detector in a graveyard. A new addition and fully functional, it picks up movement of cemetery visitors. Do a kid great. Are we not gonna wonder why it's out here? How creepy! Putting a motion detector in a graveyard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Look for fakery clues in the forest. Fakery. That's amazing. Fakery clues. So are we supposed to go back out to the... To the house then? Should I mean, we I... really be doing this? I'm already having second thoughts. Of course we should, Worry Ward. What is Nancy going to think if we return empty-handed because you chickened out? That's not... I am not scared, Joe. We are doing this. <laughs> Onwards! Get in there. Get in there, boys. Let's go investigate this dumb forest. Hey, someone put a pumpkin there. I want to put my pumpkin there. Oh, but I don't have it. Joe, you creep. Quit creeping up behind. What's this? Why is there just a bowl? Who's that? There's a strange powder on the ground. Ashes. Judging by the remnants, herbs were burnt here. Like incense? Is it my ashes? Could be something spiritual, could be something bigger. Let's see what else we find. Is it the ashes of a dead relative? Cog machine? Looky here. An affordable but effective. How would cog someone miss this? Should be able to cover this whole part of the forest in a layer of mist. I feel what embarrassed. Natural hauntings. I feel embarrassed for Nancy now. Reeks of foul play. No shit. I can't believe Nancy would not notice that big fucking thing in the corner. Looky here. An affordable. There's nothing net. That's crazy. How would you not see that? Jesus Christ. Nancy's gonna look like a chump here by the time I'm done in this forest. Get out of the way, Joe.
There's fakery afoot, as Joe or Frank would say. It's in here. Are these berries faked? Is there fakery in these berries? I see moonlight. <laughs> Can I not go any further? Oh, oh, what the fuck? It's just a pulley system. This was used to make something move to or from the branches. I see. Rope. God, this is ridiculous. Nancy's gonna look like such a dumbass for freaking out about this shit when it's obviously fake. I hope this isn't like the explanation of the ghost, because that would be so anticlimactic if like you just solve the ghost. This. We shouldn't trespass onto someone else's property. Like right now. This would be ridiculous. I don't know about this. We shouldn't trespass onto someone else's property. Okay. I don't know about Okay, so I, I guess about shut up. I guess there's more to find here. Damn it, Joe. Get out of the way. Is there anything up in the trees? Okay, I keep thinking there should be a speaker that's making those dumb noises. But I can't seem to find one. Oh, what else am I supposed to find here? Mr. Oh, okay, it's just telling us how to use the scanner, which I already knew. There's a strip ash like incense. Okay, am I supposed to look at the pumpkin? Because I could do that. Check out the spooky jack-o'-lantern. Innocent Halloween prank or sinister scare? Hmm. In the dark, it can easily be mistaken for something supernatural. Can it, though? Detector, it's a pumpkin. Machine, pumpkin head, rope, burnt incense. Well, you finally going to admit you were wrong? Of course not. All we've proven is that there are no ghosts here. So you still think ghosts exist? I think we can't prove they don't not exist. Uh -huh. Say that again? Look, the absence of proof does not mean that we can disprove their existence, but what it does tell me is that what Nancy saw was not a real ghost. So who has something to gain by setting up a fake haunting? Dear Olivia. 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 There's got to be some evidence linking her to this. There's does no there? way she brings gear here every night. She must have a stash. But where? Why don't we just ask her? To the museum. Is the museum open at this point? Uh, it's pretty late. Let's go to the museum. What? Sorry, Joe. I kind of cut you off there. I'm sorry. Hey, before we do this, shouldn't we call Nancy? What? Why? Because we're a team. We should check in with her. Oh, Frank. But Frank wants to get into them pants. That's all Frank wants so out of this. What is our thing exactly? Ghost he's, hunting. He smells that Ned's out of the picture and he's trying to weasel his way in. What a guy. What a fucking guy. Search Olivia's shop. Okay. We got all these random Suki cats from Shadow at the Water's Edge. Fires, water bottles, rope, pulleys, motion detectors. These are the same things we found in the woods. Oh, they're just right there. And look, some of it's missing. Okay, well that was easy. They're just right there. Any other juicy tidbits to find in here? We got shirts. We got Coco Kringle bars. We got weird blue potions. We got Joe looking like a dork. What's on the desk here? A Bills. Sure all about Abigail Hathorne Woodley's life and disappearance. Work in progress. I see. She's clearly important to Olivia in some way. I see a notebook. Is that not hey, important? look! A list of mysterious symbols. Found a strange note. Strange note. OK. 
Okay. Some weird, weird shit going on. Can I not look at her notebook at all? Okay. Can I go behind her desk at all? What? I did inspect it though. Something on the back? Oh. Uh, Path to Abigail Hawthorne Woodley. There's a gravestone map on the back. If this isn't suspicious. I don't see Abigail Hawthorne Woodley's grave on here, though. Would have been too easy. No matter. We'll find her. Will we? Dorothy Cromwell. Path to Abigail Hawthorne Woodley. Okay. Am I supposed to investigate the cemetery then? Okay. Let's try and find this gravestone, I guess. 